report tool tips so that i no need to cover here as you are unable to see but if you say that you are learning a power bi or if you know power bi people will ask you the latest features only okay so that's why i have added that one and i am covering now the next topic that we are going to have a discussion is report to tool tip first of all understand the concept called tool tip so as part of a visualization or any a visualization there is an option called tool tip the tool tip is nothing but you can refer a value over here instead of changing that the structure of the image so visualization so here it is representing java wise how much profit c++ wise how much profit is displaying if i want to showcase any other method any other value i have an option called tool tip so i'm just adding whatever i want as part of here so then whenever you over it you are able to see that total amount and amount paid both are displaying over here that is what the concept of a tool tip whenever you over it on top of it it is getting displayed now there is a new feature called report tool tips are there which is nothing but whenever you over it the complete report itself is getting showcased as a tool tip so now in order to accomplish that one you need to enable a feature from the preview features options and settings options you have an option called preview features you need to enable that one we enable that one so now to implement that one report tool tip report need to be displayed as a tool tip means you need to create that report right so you can create a new page and that page size previously i said boss you can have a different types of a page sizes here also you have a page information there is an option called tool tip it is asking that boss you want to use this as a tool tip or not i want to use this as a tool tip so whenever you set this as a tool tip whenever you set this as a tool tip this complete page is going to behave as a tool tip now i cannot showcase a page which contains a complete report page as a tool tip right the tool tip must be very small for that you have a page size called tool tip is there there are different types of page sizes are there in that one of the layout is tool tip so this is the tool tip page size and once you given this one there is another option also there in the view tab in the view tab there are different page sizes are there 52 page 52 width actual size i said boss like that what means default actual size it is going to showcase fit to width means even though it is a small complete width will be occupied fit to page means whatever it might be whatever it may be the size it is going to fit to the page so once you are selected it as a tool tip once you select it as a tool tip size you need to mention that boss showcase only actual size don't occupy the complete page so this is what the default tool tip size which is coming from power bi now whatever you want to design you can design here you can design here so i want to showcase book name wise book name wise the pending amount or amount paid so and similarly i want to showcase book name wise pending amount and at the same time book name wise profit also book name wise pending amount time showcasing and the overall overall quantity i am representing okay so then after the total pending amount i am representing
So I created a, a tooltip page which is going to contain these KPIs. Now, now a tooltip page is ready and then after how to use this as a tooltip. So a page is ready. How to use this one is you can use it by using it two different ways. You can use it by using it two different ways. One is for a complete page wherever a specific dimension or a specific measure comes there I want to display this one. In this visualization what are all the things you used? You used a pending amount and uh, like you used a four KPIs. One is book name, amount paid, pending amount, quantity, four KPIs are used. The way of using this tooltip page is of two types. One is in a, at a page level, at a complete page, wherever a specific KPI used, there you can showcase this visualization as a tooltip. The second one is instead of complete page, for a specific visual, you can showcase it. So first one is for a complete page, how to use it is if you want to refer, if you want to showcase it as a complete page, you need to select the item where you want to display this tooltip. I want to represent wherever there is a state, wherever there is a state or wherever there is amount paid is used. Wherever the amount paid is used, I want to display this tooltip. So I added here. Now go to the report page. See? See? Report is coming or not? That is what a report tooltip. Whatever you design that is coming there, that's it. That is what? Report tooltip. You are displaying a report as a tooltip. See, like uh, amount paid. Here I am not representing amount paid, right? That's why not displaying anything. But if I refer a KPI called amount paid here, if I refer, if I use an amount paid over this place, now come here, wherever the amount paid is there, there you are getting. See? This is one of the way to use your tooltip, report tooltip across all the visualizations. Wherever you use the amount paid, there it will display. If it is amount paid, that will display. The amount paid. If it is our KPI, it will not display. So that is what, how to use that KPI, report tooltip. The second way of using this one is, boss, I used that KPI at a different places, the value at a different places, but I don't want to display for this one, or I want to display for only this one. At that time, what you need to do is, first of all, disable this one, which means it is not going to display that places, wherever you use the amount paid, now you are not getting right. So now, for this one, I want to have a tooltip. I want to have a tooltip. At that time, what you can do is go through the settings. There is an option called tooltip. In the tooltip, auto, auto means by default, if there is any tooltip, this KPI is used automatically will come. For now, I disabled auto rate. I removed uh, the tooltip, but auto means that one. The other one is you can select whatever the tooltip that you want to display. At this point of time, your report contains only one tooltip, which is nothing but a page six. You can configure. So now, if you come here, the six is getting displayed. Okay. So this is how you can configure for a single page, single visual. If you want to configure for a complete report, 
wherever that KPI used, if you want to display that report tooltip means by default you need to go to the tooltip page and place your KPI wherever you want to display this tooltip. That is option one. The second one is for a specific visualization. So now I am adding again amount paid I am adding. So wherever the amount paid is there automatically that will come. Now if you want to ha hide that one so you can select that one under a tool tip disable that one okay so now other pages amount paid that is getting over here but here it is not displaying why because you stopped it so this is how you can configure a tool tips report tool tip so to configure a report tooltip what you need to do is you need to create a fresh page in that page you have a you need to say that boss it is a tooltip the next one is what is the size of a page you have a size which can fit as a tooltip i cannot keep a entire page as a tooltip right you can set it and the page view you always need to select actual size then you need to configure it once you configure it you can add a fields. These fields are global. Wherever that field is using, that that visual will be come up with a pop pop up as a report as a tooltip. And the second one is, you can go manually and configure to display this tooltip, or you can manually disable this tooltip also. That is what I showcased. So this is what the complete concept of report tooltips. Anyone has any questions on it? Ayub, Chaitanya, Naveen, Shivakumar. Any questions? If you don't have questions, mention no in chat. Kumar. Are you? Okay, fine. And Akbar. Okay, fine. So that is what report tooltip.